Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. Don't forget to stay tuned for the end of this video where I'll be running my weekly giveaway. But before I jump into this week's weekly vlog, I wanted to firstly thank a brand for kindly sponsoring this video. The brand is Pigto, Pigto, Pigto. I'll leave a link to their website down below. They have some amazing laptop and phone cases available on their website. So I ordered a couple and I'm going to show you them now, I'm going to unbox them with you. But if you do want to shop any of these items, I will leave them linked below along with a discount code which is Freya and that will get you 10% off at checkout. So the package arrived today and the first thing I ordered is something that I've never had before. It is a skin for my laptop. So I have the MacBook Pro with touch bar. I think that's what you call it. This is the case that I went for, the skin I should say. So it is like, it's not a hard cover, but it will protect against anything that maybe might scratch it or any like dust, anything like that. It just keeps it nice and clean. And I also ordered two phone cases, one for Tums X and one for my 7 Plus. So this is my phone, this is the 7 Plus, and the case that I got for myself has like an abstract kind of design on it. It's got a figure, if you can see, but it's very simple, minimal, very me. Let's put this on my phone now, shall we? Might as well. There we go, nice and easy to clip on, and... What do you think of my new case? I also have this one, which I ordered, like I said, for Tom. He actually picked this out himself. Again, quite simple in terms of color. We're very similar in that sense. And it has a mountain design on. They have a few different types of line drawings as well. So if you are a fan of this style, then I would recommend checking them out. I am working with them over on Instagram as well. So if you wanna see them styled up and finalized, then do head over to my Instagram to check out my stories and my Instagram main feed. So again, thank you so much to the brand for kindly sponsoring this video. And now let's get on to the rest of this week's weekly vlog. I'm actually in my car about to set off to go to Preston this morning. I'm going to meet with Lydia. It's currently sunny forecast rain so we're shooting three outfits we're gonna get it done like asap to try and avoid the rain because then she's off to parma so if you don't know and if you are new to my channel lydia is another blogger who i meet up with on a weekly basis we're both manchester based so we tend to meet up at least once a week just pulled up is this lydia yes it is hello <laughs> so we're gonna go shoot our first outfit it started raining on route which i'm not happy about so we're gonna have to get through these as quick as possible and then i do need to pick up a couple of bits whilst we're here in preston by the way this boiler suit is nasty gal i'll leave it linked if i can find a link to it and these i love these are primark outfit two down we're at practically ran back to the car in heels because i don't know if you can hear or not it started raining yay the thing is with me and lydia is we don't live near each other we don't live near anyone that can help us out so if you're asked to film a campaign or shoot a campaign that day or whatever we need to get content oh, i don't know i'm rambling here but basically if we lived together not lived together but like lived in manchester city center together there would be far less pressure on shooting three outfits in a day we probably would meet up most days and just shoot the outfit we're in and actually get to enjoy the clothes and wear the clothes that we're shooting but we just don't have that luxury you know we we commute say 30 well no a bit longer really for me 40 to 45 minutes either here to preston or to manchester like twice a day um twice a day twice a week to to meet up and shoot and make the most of it by shooting maybe three outfits in that day so anyway i'm going to change into my next outfit which this top i love it's from nasty gal i think it's so pretty it was part of the josephine range they promoted this in black but I think I prefer the sage color. So I'm gonna put that on with these selected fam mom jeans, which are still available on the website. And these I'm a big fan of, even though mom style I don't usually go for. They fit on me like a straight leg style. And then I've just put this Primark belt with it. And then I'm gonna put this, I saw it first, wool coat because it is actually quite cold today. These are probably not rain appropriate, but my little slip on mules, which Tun says are Peter Pan shoes. He says, when's Peter Pan getting his shoes back? How pretty is this stationery? That was really nice. So I'm in here to find a specific book, Far From the Madding Crowd, for my new book club. <laughs> and I'm not sure where I'm gonna find it. Yeah, I think we're about to get told off the uh, vlog in there. Upstairs we go to find Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. And parcel tape. And parcel tape. <laughs> I literally have no idea where to look. 
best selling books I'm guessing no it's like an old classic history here we go classics this is definitely going to be the area no F Far from the Madding Club. No, it's the under oh, God, I'm out of place here. And that's good. Did you, did you study this at school? I did, A-level. It's got Fitzgerald, Great Gatsby, Great Gatsby. and they brought out the film. Oh, we, yeah, we studied it before. Oh, yeah, for me it was long before. Yeah, mine was A-level and it came out, I think, like that year after or something. Um, Wuthering Heights, so I kind of Jane. Like I understood it quite well. Mm. How to Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> we didn't get <Camera. laughs> I need to look with both hands. Yeah. Well, it would be nice. Yeah, yeah tell There's me water stone right up there. Yeah, well, I think I might we'll just watch, watch the film of this. Is that it's bad? I know, I but I just struggle with time, you know. I never used to use read the full books when I was doing Ever. my degree. I actually don't think, no. well, not degree, but mm, at school, level. I don't think I read a book that we studied because no. I did English Lit as I well. I did at A level because um, it had a longer, longer time. time. I should have. I'm going to head to the DVD section. <laughs> Just coming to see if I can see the DVD version. Basically, I've got Audible, but my free credit doesn't kick in for another couple of weeks. And in order to finish the book in time for book club, I'm going to have to start now. Watch the DVD, buy a book, and then use my free credit that kicks in a couple of weeks for next month's book. DHL, I came in for It's spam. Delete. Are you sure? Yeah. Have they texted you? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe not then. Let's have a look. It should have who it's coming from. No, it's just got the... No, I know. That, that's legit. From. That's legit. Yeah, I know. Have you had a DHL parcel arrive? Not yet. Mm -hmm. so Keep your well. eyes peeled. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not paying those taxes. Just ask the company who ever sent it. I've had this whole dilemma with DHL and said, well, I don't know who the seller is. People sent, I tried to explain the situation to them that people send us stuff that we don't ask for sometimes. It just arrives. And yeah, I got charged an import fee. So I ended up just paying it. But I said to them, look, don't ever deliver anything that requires a payment from, from me well, unless if exactly I say, thing. Yes, I want it because I didn't want it and I still had to pay for it. I don't know what this is. Um, well, anyway, we'll update you on that situation. <laughs> what are we doing now? Um, lunch somewhere, really, toilet, and prime work. Yeah. Starbucks yeah. pit stop. Do you want to sit next to me or uh, over there? Oh, go I'm around there. Go off the Where did you get that knife and fork from? There you go. Oh. Oh. I'm going to go for a flat white. What have you got? Tea. Primark Preston and yeah. when you compare it to the Birmingham one <laughs> I was after something for Tom like a shirt but they've not got any so now we're gonna head home I think so I've just got back home and I've actually just quickly put on my phone <laughs> my gym gear just because I need to get stuff done this afternoon oh shush let's see who it is so I've got my VS Victoria's Secret leggings on, fluffy socks, because yes, it's cold, still got my cozy socks out. First thing I do when I get in is take off all my jewellery, because when I need to get stuff done, wearing jewellery is just not essential. Obviously when you're out shooting all day, I've got to put all my outfits either in the wash if they need washing, or back away. So I've got all that sort of stuff to organise and sort out. I've got a lot of tidying up to do and clearing. I need to wash the bedding, need to remake the bed. I've got some breakfast dishes here, which I had in front of my computer while I was getting ready this morning. One of them afternoons. What I'm going to do is just show you a couple of bits that I've had in the mail and then call it a day here. There's nothing much else vloggable. Obviously, Gogglebox this evening winner for me it's gonna be a nice chilled night i think for me and then tomorrow i might be going into leeds for some girly drinks so that should be fun and obviously if i do end up doing that i'll take you along with me so for now let's crack open this this is literally just arrived it's from pixie by petra 
<laughs> oh my god this is a collection of glow enhancing products developed to bring out your most beautiful glow this is a press release so i'm just going to hold it there if any of you guys ever like to pause it and have a read and then inside we have the glow tonic cleansing gel the glow tonic toner which i use every day glow tonic serum the phenomenal gel with aloe vera and chestnut nice and then this is the on the go with ginseng and glycolic acid and then also we got this at the dinner with sienna at 20 stories which is in last week's vlog if you wanted to see it i will leave it linked somewhere here on the screen this is the main package but we also got this which is an illuminating duo for your brows it's like a concealer consistency that will allow you to like carve out your brows and then this is the highlight shade which i actually said that this would be beautiful as an eyeshadow color three new additions to the award-winning tanning range so we've got the sleep drops they retail for 19.99 and they're gradual tanning drops you put in like your moisturizer before you go to bed you wake up glowing we've also got the self tan remover and mitt 19.99 and lastly the skin finish one of my favorite things to do is set my makeup with some kind of an illuminating mist and that retails for 15 pounds and then we've also got in here this sleep mousse in medium to deep on with organization for the rest of this afternoon so i'll probably see you tomorrow welcome to saturday I got a bit confused with days there. I'm going into Leeds today. I'm just at Burnley Manchester Road train station. Gonna get a direct train into Leeds, which is about an hour and 10 minutes, 50 spaces. And I got the last one. I got here in plenty of time just in case. So because I have a bit of time to kill, I picked up two parcels that arrived this morning, which I thought I could do a little unboxing of in the car. I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. This is a notebook, CGD London. Getting stuff done. It's nice and thick and the cover is like really thick as well. So really good quality. They have a few different ones available on their website. They did reach out to me and asked if I wanted to try one. And as a stationery lover, I said yes, please. Oh. Hi, Freya. We have something super exciting to announce. Inglot is launching two new concessions located in Next stores across Manchester this spring. So this one is a HD corrective primer in the colour peach. And then next up we have a eyeshadow pigment in number 86. <gasps> oh my god look at that it's like an iridescent it's actually coming off even more purpley but it's iridescent it's got like flecks of green in it flecks of pinks purples coppers okay next up is a lip stain lipstick in number 315 oh that's like a lilac-y pink that reminds me a little bit of a color that i used to wear from mac all the time called creme cup or cream cup i think it was called does anyone else used to wear that and then we have in here a foundation with white truffle extract I've sent the shade 76 for me which looks like a shade that i'm gonna have to use when i'm tanned i'm not gonna lie that looks a little bit dark for me in number 29 this is the all covered foundation that's gonna be too dark for me i already know it hd lip tint matte in shade 45 it's like a mauve pink ready pink kind of color like a rose oh it started raining duraline makeup mixing liquid base oh can you hear that rain no ah what is this duraline mixed with a makeup product of your choice creates a liquid waterproof foundation how incredible is that okay this is a freedom system four square palette look how they open so if i can get this right Ooh. they're like magnetic closure oh my god look at those shades but thank you so much to inglot for sending me those so i need to do a quick switcheroo with my shoes because i've driven in flats but i'm gonna wear these boots which are from misguided i think and then i'm wearing a jumpsuit which i got from a company called glamorous they gifted this to me at their head office in manchester these are the little zara dupe earrings from primark they're three pounds i double checked and then this is just an all saints coat just to have on top because like i said it's raining it's wet it's cold i don't know if i mentioned why i'm going to leeds but i'm actually going to um a friend's birthday she's having like an afternoon tea at a place called craft house <music>
Never thought I would be getting this back out, especially after the bank holiday weekend we've just had. On Sundays, that is pretty much taken up with cricket. Tom has already left to go to cricket. I usually don't go until like maybe midway through the game. I am gonna go via a, not charge shop, a car boot sale that is not too far from the cricket where I'm going. I'm gonna go grab myself some breakfast and a coffee right now. <music> car boot I was intending on going to I've just driven past it and it ended up being a pretty rubbish one it was just inside a sports hall and there was hardly any stalls there you still had to pay to get in as well which I don't mind doing if it is a decent car boot sale but um, there was hardly anything there so I won't be going back to that one and then I also got told off for like having my camera out and I was only taking videos of the items not even told off just inquisitive and I'm like <sighs> I don't bother explaining what I do because they're never going to understand what it is that I do. I just sort of say, oh, I'm taking pictures of the items that I like. And anyway, I didn't get told off. It's just like unnerving when people come up to you when you've got the camera out and they tell you not to. I'm going to head on to the second one now, but I think it might even be near enough closed by the time I get there. So we'll see. <laughs> better so this is the one that I was intending on coming to anyway I still didn't pick anything up just because I don't know I feel like as it gets warmer I'll start doing more car boot sales so I feel like today was just a bit of a tester there were definitely things I could have bought here there were some Ikea like basket sets he priced them at five pound for a pack and he had two packs and he said he'd discount them if I bought both and I was like there's four in each I definitely don't need all of them and I thought oh do you know what I'll leave it but showed it to you guys on the vlog and then there was also a big mirror which I loved but it was so heavy and I thought mounting that on our wall if it would have been lighter I probably would have done it with like the command strips it was a big sheet of mirror which had been framed so left that and I did come at a time where people are packing up it's good in a way because people are willing to, to discount but it's bad in a way that you've probably not got the best buys there was also loads of like wicker baskets wicker hampers that I could have bought on one occasion I've been to a car boot sale and picked up two men's Levi's jeans and DIY'd them into shorts and they were 25p each so I always keep my eyes peeled for that but I didn't see any today. And then I met one of you guys. Hello, if you're watching. It was so lovely to meet you and your mum as well. And as I was explaining, I'm off to go and watch Tom play cricket now. So he is playing in Accrington today. So I'm going to head over there. It's sunny now. So fingers crossed it's going to stay like this. I'm hoping it will. Actually, before I'm going to cricket, I'm going to head into TK Maxx just because cricket didn't start for another hour. <laughs>
TK Maxx, didn't pick anything up, and now I've spotted a home bargain. Still undecided on whether or not to get these. Two ninety nine for the small and five ninety nine for the big. This is a cute duvet set, but it's only in a single in the sale for seven. And then they've got this cushion next to it, just three, but not my colour scheme and not my bed size. I think these are new. They're like my Primark one, just a different colour scheme. Oh, and they've got a bigger one. I love this uh, to-do list. It's like a beige marble kind of colour. Ooh, 149. So I've just arrived and parked up at the Cricket and let me just tell you, I picked up these in M&S with a hint of lemon and ginger. It's just plain still water. And I also got this one which is with a hint of cucumber and mint. This is the one I've been drinking and it's so good. I do usually park outside the Cricket ground but this is an away game and I didn't know and I've driven on and I'm like, oh, sod's Laura, but the first and only time I've driven onto the Cricket pitch I bet my car will get hit with a ball. Oh, we're bowling. Oh, I think we've got one wicket already. I can't see a scoreboard though. Right, so I'm gonna go find Tom's mum, sit outside. It's nice and sunny, which is good. <coughs> It's Wednesday, which means it's the last day of the weekly vlog. So I am going to be doing a giveaway a bit later on, but first stop for the day is the gym because I've been going every day this week. Pat on the back. I have just said bye to Tom. He's away for the night tonight. He's off to Birmingham for work and then Manchester tomorrow, so we won't be back until late tomorrow night. And then also I did just have a little bit of a task that I might film later cleaning of my makeup brushes it's been a while it's been far too long i know you should probably do it like on a weekly basis or something i definitely don't and on another note i've been watching a lot of i'm gonna have to put another hair bobbling because that one didn't feel secure enough uh, i've been watching a lot of challenge style videos and there's one in particular that i came across which i thought was quite funny i asked you guys on instagram if you think i should do challenge type videos and a few of you suggested it's a 24 hour eating challenge whereby you order everything that the person in front of you orders so whether it's in starbucks costa mcdonald's drive through whatever you just ask for the same order of the car that was in front of you so i might incorporate that rather than into a full video because i know challenges aren't for everyone and I never do challenges, so it's not really my kind of content. I might incorporate that into maybe next week's vlog. I can't do it today because I've already eaten and had a coffee this morning. So yeah, I might do that within next week's vlog. Let me know if you guys want more challenge style videos, if that's your kind of thing. So for now, let's head on to the gym. I'm gonna do maybe some upper body. I wanna do some more arms for the bingo wings. but it was so busy i thought the time that it is 10 till 11 i thought it'd be quite quiet because don't people have jobs that they have to go to anyway it was probably busier then than it is when i get up and go first thing like early doors then nipped into b&m to grab some bin bags bin days as you saw this morning so i need some more bin bags we are out and i did take a few snaps of some new in bits that b&m have so that'll be highlighted over on my instagram home account which is just very frank and home if you're interested in like homeware okay let's head home and let's crack on with the rest of today i'm gonna watch all sure my makeup brushes now just before i do i did get a parcel arrive in the mail which i thought i'd open well i've already opened it so i know what's inside it's from primark i've been working with them recently over on my instagram so they've very kindly just sent me some sample bits from their head office so i had no idea this was coming some of it's not quite my style but i'll show it to you guys anyway just so that you if you like it you can um, be aware that it's in store and these first two are like this olive green which i still would class as like 
a neutral colour. Like I'm a big fan of whites, creams, browns, beige, sand, khaki, olives, browns. Did I say browns already? The first one is just a satin midi skirt. It's actually quite long. I would say it's more mid axi to be completely honest with you. And it's part of their occasion wear. So this, because it's from Head Office, has a euro amount. So it's 16 euros. And then I also got the same colour, same fabric in the dress version. It reminds me of like Josephine or someone like that on Insta. Silky satiny slip dress that goes quite long but it does have a couple of slips at the front. I'd say size up in this because I think it'd be nicer to just fall whereas it kind of clung to my bum which I'd preferred it if it was just a it fold a bit nicer so I probably would size up in this again part of the Primark occasion wear and 22 euros this one and then the next kind of like a tie-dye sage baby pink and lemon color there are one two three pieces within this collection that they have sent me in a size 10 at 22 euros a high neck dress and this one is far more floaty it's at its tightest here around the neck so it does just drop I feel like if you're pregnant, this could be quite a nice dress because it doesn't cling on to anything. You know, in the early stages, I don't know why I'm talking about pregnancy like I know it, but the early stages, I imagine you'd feel like, because it's not an obvious bump, you just want to like maybe wear something a bit more floaty. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. There's also two more pieces that they sent, a top and a skirt. The skirt is the exact same fit and style as that other olive green one. It's two euros cheaper. In fact, it is a little bit shorter. Can you see? As a separate, you can buy this top, which is 11 euros. They sent it to me in a size 10. That same fabric, but it's like a, not halter neck. This bit ties around your neck, so that bit's high. And it goes like that. You get the gist. And then last but not least, they've sent this top, which is beautiful. I think they have a skirt in this color as well. I might actually get that so that I could wear it as a pair. Okay, so this is 9 euros. It's kind of like it's semi square neck semi cowl neck once it's actually on it it's not like a drastic cowl neck it's kind of like that so i did try it on yesterday with this and the skirt and i think that would make a really nice wedding outfit or christening outfit some kind of summery occasion oh and they also sent me these couple of bits i obviously wouldn't wear it like this but that's how it would look and then also we've got a nice little pearl one i've not really invested into this trend yet although i do like it so you know, like something like that. I might even go back, get a couple and layer them. We'll see. Time to clean these brushes. I do have a contraption, which is called the Style Pro, I believe. Let me just get it out. This bowl and makeup brush cleanser. Then you have these little circular rubber heads, which you put onto this little contraption. Switch it on. It spins really fast. And then in the bowl, it basically washes the brush and dries it at the same time. So I'm going to show you one. That is the makeup brush cleaned and dry as well. Did you see the before and the after? That is just incredible. I don't know how it does it so well and so quick. This is my, my powder and powder foundation brush. So it obviously has a lot of foundation kind of color product within it. So it's, as you can tell, quite orange. And that is it afterwards. Okay, I'm going to show you once more with my blusher brush, which currently looks a little something like so. So you might be able to see all the blush colour there. Dip it in the brush cleanser. Switch it on. And just dip it in a couple more times. And this is pretty much a brand new clean brush, which is dry. Okay guys, it's that time of the week where I'm closing off this week's weekly vlog with a giveaway. All you need to do to be entered to win is be subscribed, 
hit that notification bell and then comment down below with some form of contact whether it be an email address twitter or instagram handle so i can reach out to the winner in a week's time and what i am giving away this week is part of the vegan beauty edit from the little beauty parcel by feel unique but i've also added a few extra goodies in here so let's open it up and see a little sneak peek of what is inside some nars lipstick lip gloss and a lip pencil we've got some earrings this is a three set from buckley london and then we've got some sunnies in there we've got a deep cleanse detoxifying soap bar eyeshadow brush another lipstick by inica i think that's how you pronounce it and then an illuminator by new by nature and by dr buchanan and by dr Buc Oh, I can't say that. Dr. Botanicals, a Moroccan Rose Superfood Facial Oil. So best of luck to everyone who enters. We're very fortunate in this job to be gifted quite a lot. So it's nice to be able to give back to you guys too. Thanks so much for watching this week's weekly vlog, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. And I will see you again next week. Bye, guys.